So the final race of day two then is a novices chase. It's the Auriga novices chase. It's over three miles and one furlong. It's a small field and the top one is Summertime Blues Derek Hinton. The aristocrat Kevin Minahan. Celestial Lights Ghost Zapper 8 to the ground. Joshua Sutherland Mayor Days Darren Thompson and State of Control Leon Van Rensburg. So just the six then. So we've said many times over the last few weeks these three mile novices do seem to be Attracting small fields, and away they go. In the shadow of the big screen. And they will have just about two circuits of Cheltenham to go as they immediately make their way out past this second big screen. Out into the country, and it's celestial lights that's going to take them along, it would seem. They sort themselves out, the rain's still coming down, it's been an action packed week so far, brilliant racing at Aintree for the first two days of the week, Thrilling Grand National earlier, and these races at Cheltenham haven't been too bad either of they, as they skip over the first then, a bit of a mistake by May Days towards the back, but Celestial Knights is the clear leader by a good six lengths to the Aristocrat in second, and Summertime Blues is third as they come to the water, and skip over that one, all safely over the water jump, Making their way down towards the next then. A lead for Celestial Lights then. They're coming to this ditch. Oh, quickly over that one there. Quite well strung out. Celestial Lights is not hanging about, setting a decent pace. And well clear as they take that plain one. And they're all over that one okay as well. So Celestial Lights are clearly then by a good six or seven lengths. To the Aristocrat second. Summertime Blues is third in another gap to eight to the ground in the state of control and mere days is a further couple of lengths behind them so they're only just about all in shot then as they come down to this ditch and over that one they go over oh, that one okay and just one unlucky train is not going to pick up any cash after this race if they all get round or if five will get round anyway as they take the next and race downhill now and it's perfect Indian file as celestial lights Continues to show the way, but the lead has just been cut back to about four now. As they come to the next. And that one goes Celestial Lights in the lead, the rest of them follow suit. Starting to bunch a little bit. I've got to get to this Celestial Lights though. It's well clear. Stood off that one a bit, but got over it okay. Used to lead. Eight to the ground has now moved through to be the second horse, the leading group of the main, the leader horse, the leading horse in the main group. I'm getting tongue of me teeth the right way around. And celestial lights then. We can see the distance in the leaders. We play jockey cam on mere days. See them approaching this fence. We've slipped onto state of control. jumped it well and Celestial Lights is still the leader but only by about three now and they come past the big screen take the fence that'll be the last next time round bit of birch flying there and they're all still on their feet and jumping well and Celestial Lights is the leader from H the ground second and state of control third Mere Days is fourth Summertime Blues is fifth and the Aristocrat is now the back marker as they make their way out then on the final circuit of Presbury Park this week the final race of day two and this is week 11 isn't it so just two more weeks to go two weeks and a day left so you're all going to near your targets and all oh, the one pulled up there state of control look to be traveling perfectly okay and has been pulled up so somewhat bizarre there and that's how it goes in the racing game one minute you're on the top of the world and the next minute you're totally baffled and your horse gets pulled up as they take over they take the water Celestial Lights then in the lead. All five of these will pick up some cash now if they all complete the course, but the weird pull-up scenario, I guarantee that's going to happen. Over that one they go then. They've still got well over a mile to go, and Celestial Lights is in the lead and has led all the way. Eight to the ground is second. They take that one. The Eric Hinton Hall Summertime Blues is a bit slow over it. Mere Days is the one that's making eye-catching progress, but the Aristocrat is only six lengths off the lead, so all still in with a chance as they come down to the 15th although that one okay as well celestial lights 
Eight still in front. Mare Days is closing on the inside. Behind Eight to the Ground is still in second as they take the 16th. And Sophie over that one as well with Celestial Lights now being joined by Eight to the Ground. First time Celestial Lights has seen another horse in the entire race. And Eight to the Ground just looming up on his outside and put him under a little bit of pressure. Jockey just pushing away at Celestial Lights as they take that one. Had a much better jump by eight to the ground and suddenly goes a length clear. Celestial Lights having to switch to the outside now then. But comes back to within half a length again. This could get interesting as they come down towards the next. This is the 18th to third from home. And Celestial Lights just got his head in front again but got out jumped again by eight to the ground. And now the aristocrat and Mare Days are trying to close in summertime. Blues is now to be either. So all five still in this then as they race towards the second last. They've got a little bit more than three furlongs to go. And eight to the ground is now being joined by the aristocrat. Then Celestial Lights trying to battle back between the two of them. Summertime Blues in fourth. The one that's dropped away is Mare Days. They've got two to jump. And eight to the ground has gone for home. Hard driven in second is the aristocrat. Also under pressure now Celestial Lights, they come to the second last, and eight to the ground gets over in the lead. Good jump though by the horse in second celestial lights, but eight to the ground has gone three lengths clear, and it's eight to the ground who's suddenly three or four clear at the final fence, skips over and gets away from it. Well, and eight to the ground is going to take this one, I think, as they race inside the final four, and it's going to be another one for Joshua Sutton, who's ending the week well. And uh, eight to the ground races up towards the line there, then he's well clear, good six lengths clear of celestial lights in second, and then Mare Days and Summertime Blues and the Aristocrat, but eight to the ground takes it. From Celestial Lights, Mare Days, Summertime Blues, and the Aristocrat. That's what this one is. So there you go, that's the result of the final race on day two. Aches the ground for Joshua Sullivan is the winner. Celestial Lights for Ghost Zapper was second. Mere Days for Darren Thompson, third. Summertime Blues, Derek Hinton, fourth. And the Aristocrat for Kevin Meenaham was fifth.